All right, we're back with another real fake interview. I'm your host, Derek Knopfsnyder. On today's interview, we have the one, the only, mega superstar, Taylor Swift. Taylor, can't say it enough. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. All right, let's get weird. What is your biggest sexual fantasy if you had to pick one? Oh, okay. Um, if I had to pick one, it would probably be of me and T-Pain. Did you say T-Pain? All right, I gotta hear the rest of this. We're sitting on the steps and we, and I have like gold chains on and like a, a hat to the side and like I'm basically kind of trying to emulate what he's wearing. Would you guys do butt stuff? No, no. Okay, fair enough. Have you ever done butt stuff? No, I, I haven't done that either. No, I have done, well, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> All right, well, you don't have to. Um, I don't think I could ever do butt stuff. That's just weird. That, that'd be weird for sure. I, I could never try it. Why wouldn't you even try it just one time? Just like, oh, I think I'm gonna, oh, uh, I tried it now. Okay, calm down, Taylor. <laughs> you seem really into that. Look, we've gotten way off subject, like way off topic. Like now, now I need to know. What is it about butt stuff that draws you to it? I think it's it's more, it's less about the taste and it's more about the experience. The experience and- Did you say the taste? That's fucked up. That's not okay, Taylor. Look, let's just end on this. You've had some terrible luck with relationships. Uh, a lot of people seem to think it's because you're a terrible girlfriend. I don't care what anybody thinks. Oh, I think you do. Yeah, I, I, no, I, no, I think you do. Well, Taylor, I have to tell you, this has been the highlight of my career up to this point, and I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down and chat with us. Best of luck on your new single, um, whatever it is.